now by Sean Ryan, technical advisor at uh, Ryan Wood Exploration. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Um, so tell us a little bit about your story and um, how this company got started. What I'm doing right now is I'm working with, the, I'm a prospector, and what I'm doing is uh, I work with the company White Gold Corp. And the idea is that uh, we're based out of the Yukon, and I merged a bunch of my claim blocks about three years ago into, into one big claim package, and we optioned it off to White Gold Corp. And so White Gold Corp's been working in the area for the last, well, for the last three years. And the idea was we were going to evaluate this, we call it the White Gold District, where we made two big discoveries over the last, back in 2010 and 11, we found roughly over seven and a half million ounces in a couple of deposits, somewhere around there, could be a little bit less. But the idea is that uh, White Gold guys are basically now methodically working this, basically we have over 20,000 claims, so it's a massive claim package, and we have numerous showings, and uh, we've been using this new drones to drills technology through Ground Truth, that was kind of a spin out of Ryan Wood exploration. And the idea is that uh, we have a new high tech spin on it, and it's so we use drones to go and pre map the ground out. And then we have uh, new geophysical techniques. Our specialty was high quality soils, deep soils techniques. And so when we merge all that together, we come up with new targets, drill targets, and that's what White Gold's been helped finance. And behind them has been like Nico Eagle was basically one of the, like the main financiers at the beginning. So they sponsored us or gave us a $15 million program about three years ago. And we've been methodically working the district and making some nice new discoveries. Uh, you actually had uh, great results last year, so let's talk about that. Yeah, so last year we, had, uh, we were drilling the vertigo, so we had some nice high-grade intersections in there. But at the end of the season, we actually came across uh, a new target called the Titan that was on the hand project that was actually tied on to the, onto the J.P. Ross vertigo area. Mm -hmm. But that one, uh, the last hole of the season, we ended up pulling out out of a rab hole, seven and a half meters of 72 grams. And it was actually within an intersection that is roughly around 33 meters of 14 grams. So this was a very significant hit. And that's where we left off the season last year. So it'll be a fun season ahead because we know exactly where to go because that was the, the weather window was closing on us last year in the middle of October mm -hmm. and we drilled that last hole and that, that's what's fun about the Yukon and White Gold projects. We're basically, it's all virgin territory in a sense and that's what's unique about the Yukon is literally we're the first guys to walk the ground and take samples and make these discoveries. And expanding on that, you uh, mentioned a little bit, but uh, what are your short-term objectives? What can we expect over the next six or 12 months? What we're going to try to do now is we're, we're still trying to figure out our, our exploration budget this year. It's going to be roughly three to eight million, depending on where we go with it, but a minimum three. So we're going to actually drill, for sure, Diamond Drill, the hand target, this Titan new discovery. And then that'll probably start at probably the uh, end, the middle of June, first week of June to the middle of June. And then we have this new one on the white project, and that's called the Ryan Surprise. And that's a, an, it was a blind target that we got four good intersections in. Last year was 32 meters at two and a half grams. So we're going back into that, and we're gonna plug that with a bunch of diamond drilling so this summer. So, so we have, that's the cool thing about White Gold is, it's not a one trick pony. We have about 20 projects. And White Gold's real business model was to be there for the next 20 years. Make the discoveries, hit it with a phase two, which was a diamond drill program after we make initial discovery. And if it's got legs, we kind of spin, we're gonna spin them out. And then he who has white gold paper gets Spinco paper, and then that asset becomes kind of isolated. And then we could shop that off to the majors or Nico and Kinross that are our partners. They could look at it. But the idea is that white gold is here for, I'm hoping the next 20 years to 30 years. And it's like, to me, I come from the Timmins camp and it's like owning 40% of the Timmins camp. If you own that today, you'd look like a hero. Mm -hmm. So that's what this long-term vision for that company is. Yeah, a lot of exciting things coming up. Well, thank yeah, you for joining no. us. Stay tuned, we're just getting rolling. <laughs> Very exciting, thanks yeah, again. Thanks.